And our top story tonight, of course, involves the future of the Buffalo professional sports teams. Russ Brandon is out tonight as president of both the Bills and the Sabres. Terry and Kim Pagula made the announcement this afternoon saying they accepted Russ Brandon's resignation. Now, it is interesting to note that he was taken off the company website and his Twitter account was deleted within minutes of the announcement. And neither he nor the Pagulas said thank you to one another in their statements today. Brandon, of course, has been with the Bills since 1997 when he was hired by late former owner Ralph Wilson Jr. He became team president in January of 2013, about a year and a half before the Pagulas bought the Bills and was named Sabres president two years later. Sports director Adam Benini joins us now. Adam, first, what are these reports about Russ Brandon being investigated for workplace misconduct? Yeah, that coming from the uh, Buffalo News involving female employees. And it's important to point out this is being termed a resignation, but based on these reports, it appears there's more to it than that. Now, a couple of sources uh, close to this aren't confirming that investigation. One at Pagula Sports and Entertainment simply referred me to the statement that the company issued on this. Nothing in the way of a denial, though. And I did speak to Russ himself this afternoon. His response, and I quote, I won't even dignify that with a comment. Adam, any positives to take away from his tenure with the Bills and the Sabres? Yeah, I think especially when you look back during his time with the Bills, Scott, uh, he certainly drew all kinds of criticism, right, during his career for his involvement in football-related decisions. A guy with a marketing background, and given the team's lack of success, that didn't fly well with the fan base, understandably. But on the positive side, he did a great deal to keep the team viable leading up to the eventual sale to the Pagulas after Ralph Wilson passed away. So I do think he had a hand in that respect in, in mm -hmm. keeping the team in Western New York. And what does it mean to the team going forward? Because the statement said that Kim Pagula was going to take over as president, and that would be historic. Absolutely. And we don't know, you know, right now, we know that Kim Pagula is taking over as president of both teams. And I will say that she has been actively involved with both franchises, really, since they bought them. What have we said in the past? Underestimate Kim Pagula mm -hmm. at your own peril if, if you right. work there. And that's proven to be true over uh, the course of time here. Um, but how she delegates responsibilities and in terms of business acumen and that sort of thing, I think that remains to be seen. But, I mean, Kim Pagula has very much been a part of the day-to-day -day operations and the decision-making from a business perspective, I think, as well, uh, of both franchises. All right, Sports Director Adam Benini tonight. Adam, we'll see you again in sports tonight. You bet. Appreciate it. And for the latest on this story and to give us your take, head over to WGRZ.com or the free Two on Your Side app.